young prince lived in a shiny castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. But then one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for a shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found in them. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to a bring a beautiful enchantress. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle of all who lived there. A shame of his eyes was formed, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as his only wonder to the outside world. But the rose she had offered him was truly an enchanted rose, for which it would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn her love in return by the time he was found out, the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast?
Hello? Is anyone here? Please, I'm looking for my father. No, is that you? Papa! How did you find me? Your hands are like ice. Who has done this to you? You must leave this place. I won't leave you here. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who is it? The master of this castle. Then you're the one who's responsible for this. Release my father at once. I do not report this from anyone. Get out! Wait, forgive me. Please let him out. Can't you see? He's not well. He's not a trespass. But he's an old man. He could die. There's nothing you can do. Wait, take me instead. No, no, you don't know what you're doing. You would do that? You would take his place? If I did, would you let him go? Yes, but you must promise to stay here forever. No! Come into his life. No, listen, I'm old, I've lived my life. You have my word. Don't! Take him to the village! Let go of me! Let go of me! No! No! Papa! I'll never see you again. You didn't even get to say goodbye. Master, since the girl is going to be that so guards and lamb, you might want to offer her a more comfortable room. I'll show you to your room. You follow me! This is your home now. You're free to go anywhere you like, except the West Wing. Why? It's forbidden or never set with them. Do you understand? Yes. My servants will attend you. And one more thing, you will join me for dinner. That is not a request! Nothing like a warm cup of tea to make the world seem a bit brighter. But you are 
You are Mrs. Potts, dear. May I please make your acquaintance? Careful, darling. Who, who are you? Madame de Mercouche. Wait, this is impossible. Well, now, what shall we dress you up for dinner? Let's see what I've got in my drawers. That's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. Of course you are. You heard what Master said. He may be your master, but he's not mine. I'm sorry, this is just happening so fast. That was a very right thing you did, my dear. We all think so. I'm going to miss my papa so much. Cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak, but you mustn't despair. We're here to see you through.
gone and walked in a dungeon. Help! Help! We must go at once. Not a minute to lose. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Maurice. Who's got that locked in the dungeon? A beef. A terrible, monster beef. <laughs> All right, then I will back and get it out myself. Be 
young girls put our service to the test. Dial up your love, your love shall be in the everybody's list. So to show the world, we only need to serve. Chancy Glaser. It's delicious. Don't believe me, ask the teacher. Second sing, second dance. And the wrong is this is wrong. The letter is there are several bells. Go on the phone to your friend and take a glance and then you be our guest. Be our guest, be our guest.
Priscilla wouldn't hurt as much. If you had run away, you wouldn't have helped him. If you had a fright, you wouldn't run away. Well, you should have been in the West Wind. And you should learn to control your temper. Now hold still, Space King. By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Well, that's more like it. I knew they could get it wrong if they tried. So does the action figure out of that? And not a moment too soon either. The rose is losing petals and the lava race. I can hardly bend over at all anymore. Clearly, it's time for us to kiss him and it's your boot. I guess the thing. How about we warm you two up a bit with a nice bow to sit? <laughs> Yes, 
Ravishing. Thank you, Cogsworth. So we can't believe this gout gives me again after all these years. 